Hey guys, Fabuli here today, and welcome to Let's Create a World Part 2. Uh, starting off pretty much where we left, I kind of just play around with this little cliff lot area, uh, and, and so it actually goes down, so I can make it go over the water and stuff in a bit. That should be pretty cool. Uh, in this episode, I kind of just... I do, uh, like, play around with the terrain of the island in general, add a few more lots, uh, and I, I just try and make certain, like, designated areas where lots are gonna go, and I work on the, yeah, I work on, like, coastline terrain and that. Um, most of the mountainy stuff, and I say mountainy because it's not really a mountain, is what I've already done in the background there. Uh, so yeah, I get the, the basic road layout done, it might change, uh, probably will change. Uh, and, and basically where I want to place the lots and that kind of stuff. And I also do some really, really basic terrain painting at the end. Um, just because I wanted to see what it's going to look like with the current shape. Because when everything's just grass, you, you really can't tell what it's going to look like. I mean, you, you get an idea, but there's no way to really tell if it's actually going to look nice when you put the proper textures on it and all that kind of stuff. So I just put the default sand and rock textures in uh, at the end to see what it would look like. And it, it looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the, the look of it anyways. Uh, yeah, so I'm just working on, at the moment, this little sort of housing area. This is, I guess this is going to be the main suburban area um, for the town. And then there's going to be the, the lots around the place, like here, some around the back and around the side and in other locations. I don't even know what I'm doing now. I think I was messing around with the routing stuff. Because I was like, ooh, what does this do? And then I never really used it. Not yet, anyways. Uh, I don't think I really need to set any of that yet. Because it will probably all change. Uh, yeah, so I'm just doing all the roads. Um, while I know this island is small, uh, it just seems really small. <laughs> like, when I was thinking about where I'm going to put all like the uh, the lots, like community lots and all that kind of stuff, it comes, becomes quite of a challenge, I suppose. I don't, I don't really know how I'm going to do it that well. But I guess that's kind of like a play it, play it by ear. Do it as it comes. See how it goes. Um, at the moment, yeah, I was like, I was trying to get like a perfect little slope going there. So I opened it up in Photoshop. But it's really hard to see the color difference between the two. Uh, so I wasn't actually able to get it to go that well. So you see that's the height map of the island that I've made. Uh, and I'll probably, I'll probably really, like, when I release the world, I'll release, like, the height map as well, in case you just want a blank world of it. Um, that could be cool. Then you could make your own island, I suppose, with the same sort of, that same island, but you could do your own lots or something like that. Yeah, and roads and all that kind of stuff, that could be cool as well. Uh, I might as well, I might also just release the actual project files in the end, so you'll be able to open it up and create a world as well, and have, like, the finished world in there. I also had a problem with... The editing game, like, it it worked to a certain extent, like, it opened, it, it opened my game, so there was no problem with that, but I think it's got something to do with Creator World and Steam, and also because I changed some of the registry edits. I changed the reg edit um, so that it would only grab content from the base game in Creator World, so Creator World only uses base game content, like, uh, that's, that's the way I've set it up, um, and I can't, can't place any content that isn't base game, because... I thought I might do it that way, and then if I want to use expansion content, I might just do it on lots, because lots are much more uh, interchangeable than the actual world itself, so I thought that'd be a good solution um, to that sort of issue that I had last time, when I was discussing it about if I want to make it uh, base game or not, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that's going, that's what's happening there. Uh, I, I'm thinking I may have to install The Sims 3. Because uh, I can install The Sims 3 on Origin, and it will create a separate install. So maybe if I install the base game on Origin, and use that game for Creator World, that might work. Uh, I don't know, I have to play around with it. And yeah, all the... I've, I, <laughs> I, I keep forgetting this, but you'll see in the bottom right of the window, like, Skype notifications come up and, like, Twitter notifications and all that sort of stuff. I always forget that it, it records all that as it pops up, because the window is quite big on my screen. Um, I always forget to turn, to turn it off, so I apologize for that. You'll see probably a few Skype things and, and probably Twitter 
as well. Feel free to read them. They're not really private, so <laughs> it's just not very... It's not exactly professional, I suppose, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I was messing around with roads for a long time because sometimes they're just really annoying and they just don't do what you want them to do. Uh, they just don't look very nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get that curve going on there. And I think I've flatten most of the terrain. Oh, I don't think I flatten the part I'm working on now. I think I just do a smooth road grading in this area to make it look a bit nicer. It's kind of like a nice little, little road there. Probably put um, more expensive lots in this area, I'm thinking. Because it seems to be quite exclusive compared to the other stuff anyways. But yeah, so far I think the, the world is coming along quite well. Uh, I'm happy with it. I mean, yeah, it is pretty small, but then again, I did obviously know that because I chose a small size on purpose. But I think that's good in a way. Uh, it does create a challenge, but it also means that it will take less time to work on, which is really good because that means you'll be able to get it quicker. Uh, I mean, I was also, because uh, I don't know if you've seen, but Kiwi T, or he's he's also the ad admin of uh, create, like, the Creator World Wiki, um, he knows a lot about this stuff, like Creator World in general, and he like he's like a, some Creator World guru. <laughs> he knows it all. Anyways, so uh, he started up uh, posting YouTube videos the other day, uh, and I was just talking to him, and we might be doing some stuff together. So he might be making a, an awesome world because he's really good in it, and I might be helping out with building some of the houses in it, and that kind of stuff, which could be cool because then it'd be a freaking awesome world. Just. Just, just gonna say that now. I don't know if that's gonna, like, I don't know when that's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen or anything like that. But we're just talking about it. It's an idea for a future day. Uh, anyways, right now you can see I'm making these kind of, uh, I guess, tiered housing areas. Uh, so the different levels of land. I thought it was a pretty good idea. Instead of trying to do like hills and stuff, um, so that houses are gonna have flat areas to build on, it has kind of nice tiers, uh, tiered housing areas, which I think is pretty cool. And later on, I do. I don't know, what I do to the cliffs later on, I think is actually pretty cool. Um, I'll talk about it a bit more when we get there. Uh, but I think I do need to make some more places for houses that are just going to be interesting, like, and not just a flat lot. Because I, I, I do want a, quite a lot of flat places to build on, just like regular houses, and so you can put in your own houses easily. But I also want some special lots where you can have something really outrageous and something really cool that you wouldn't get in any other neighborhood kind of thing. An awesome cliff lot, I don't know. Some really cool stuff like that. I want to do houses like that as well. But I want to have a good balance between that and just having um, regular lots as well. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to go for uh, in this place. Uh, and as I was saying before, I'm going to try and get the editing game to work. Because firstly, I need that. Uh, because I want to put down the rabbit hole lots which are the, like the city hall uh like the police station and all that kind of stuff like the stadium i need to put all those down so i need to figure out where they're going to go and then i can start sort of decorating around them and finishing those lots off because to do those lots all you need to do is just uh, do some landscaping and and like put trees around it pretty much and, and make it look nice and then that lot is done uh so I want to get that done as soon as possible, so I need to get editing game to work, otherwise I can't do that, which would be kind of annoying. Um, originally where I'm building now, I thought I'd put a lighthouse, but that idea may have changed. Uh, I could do like a converted lighthouse into like a house, because I, I made it a pretty big lot. I think I made it like 40 by 64 or something in size, and it goes all the way down to the water as well. So I was thinking that I could do, like, it, maybe it could have, like, an old-fashioned lighthouse on the, like, coming out of the top of the house, and then it could be, like, some Grand Design-esque um, extension onto it or something like that. You know how they always do up those, uh, like, I don't know, old churches, or I, sometimes they do up, like, a boathouse or something, or something, just something crazy, just like that. They always do that weird stuff. And you can see here, I was trying to do edit in game, and then I realized it didn't work, so I gave up on that, came back to Creator World, and kept working. Um... But yeah, so that could be a cool idea for that lot up the top right here, the one I'm making now, like a converted lighthouse. I think that could be pretty cool. I don't know how well it would turn out, of course, but that's left to be seen. Because um, yeah, I don't want to put that, that sort of cliff there to waste, so I decided to put a lot on that. 
and then I remove it because I haven't finished landscaping either, so I'm going to do all that. Uh, I think pretty much now till near the end-ish is kind of just doing some landscaping and then there'll be a bit of terrain painting and making it sort of look a bit nicer. Um, the next, basically, the order of steps I'm taking at the moment, oh yeah, this is the cliff I'm talking about, how it kind of, I kind of flatten the terrain at different levels in between it, and I don't know, it just created a really cool effect, I really liked it anyways. Oh yeah, that's one of my, <laughs> all my tweets on the right coming up. Feel free to read them. They're a bit cut off, but you can probably read some of them. Um, they're not that exciting. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that I like, really like that cliff technique there. Uh, but yeah, my order of steps are going to be I'll completely finish like the terrain itself. So sculpting the terrain to the shape I want it and how I want it to finally look or, or roughly mostly done. Uh, and then I need to do the terrain painting. So I need to get like more realistic grasses and, and different grasses. Uh, I'll probably just take some of them out of the game. Maybe I'll get some offline. Off, offline. I mean, like, off online. If that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I get them from online. Uh, just and put them in and do some, hopefully, realistic sort of terrain painting um, around the beaches and on the semi mountain slash cliff faces. Uh, you'll see, because, yeah, I, like I said, at the end of this, I do some, I do basic terrain painting to sort of get an idea of how it's going to all work. Um, it, it, it like, look, it comes together well, like, from, like, when you look at it from a distance, it looks kind of nice, but as soon as you get up close, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work very well. So I'll be working on that after the, the terrain is mostly done. Uh, then after that, because you need to place lots after terrain painting, because if you change the terrain under a lot, uh, it just, it does a weird thing. Like, when you're up close, it's fine, but when you zoom out and away, it has, like, the old terrain underneath it, and, like, low resolution, so... You need to place the lots afterwards. Like, I know I've placed lots in the worlds already, um, but that's kind of just to get an idea of where the road's going to go and all that kind of stuff and how it's going to work. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll replace the lots after I've done the terrain painting and get them in the final positions. And then once the lots are in their final positions, then I'll go into each individual lot and probably start doing speed builds on those. Uh, and those speed builds will be a part of the Creator World series. So they'll be a part of this series and not the speed build series I'm doing. If that makes sense, so they'll be they'll be separate from that, um, and 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 like probably mixed in between me doing the lots themselves and doing like I'll be doing the uh, the actual neighborhood decorations. So putting trees up around the place, uh, bushes, I don't know signs. There's all there's a whole lot of like decorative items you put up around the, the neighborhood, like um you know like there's metal guard rail kind of things everywhere and all that kind of stuff. I think I'll start painting the train soon because you can see I'm just kind of working on the uh, little cliff faces and all that sort of stuff to get them look quite nice. Oh yeah, you see I've started right now. Uh, just going around the cliffs and if you're wondering why it looks kind of pinkish now that's because the um, the routing overlay is there but it's just like transparent. You'll see it look properly later on anyways. Um, but you can see that stone texture how it repeats a lot uh, and that's the problem with it. It just isn't good in that respect. It just has a really hard repeating. Um, but anyways yeah so I'm this what I'm doing now isn't like I said isn't the final painting but it's to get an idea of what it's going to look like and where and how it's all going to work like with the like beaches and the mountains and the rocky areas and little cliffs and that kind of stuff. You can see it already looks better than just having grass. And that helps me to sort of see how I want to do it. And where I want to move things maybe. And how I want to organize it. And just how I think it should look. And like, it's good to look at it now. Because I can see if it's not what I wanted it to be like. But I'm quite happy with it anyways. It looks quite nice. Um... And the final thing I do right now is just adjusting some roads, and I think I add in another road somewhere as well. But I think more or less the roads are done, because um, there's not that much to do in terms of roads, as you can see. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to fit in all the community lots. I might, I might have to get custom rabbit holes, or I might just make them, because... I, I don't know. I remember back in the day, I was going to make custom rabbit holes that were just like a door and you just put the door down and then you could build your own building around it which was a pretty cool idea i think it was i think it was already done in the form of rugs actually yeah that's right they, they had rugs but i wanted to do it as a door 
I thought that'd be better. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to investigate all that sort of stuff. Probably speak to Kiwi too. I assume he knows a lot more about this stuff than me. Um, and I'll get some more information on that. But the actual work that I've done this episode is coming to an end very soon. Uh, and then we'll just be greeted with some beautiful pictures coming up now um, that show what's been done this episode, basically, so you, don't, you can actually see what's going on. But I think it's definitely making some good progress. Uh, right now, I think this is about a couple of hours of work, two to three hours, I think, um, if you slow it down to proper speed. I think it's two hours. So it's not too much, but it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, but that's it for this, con this time, guys. I'm Flabaliki. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.